So here we're going over the outline for how the ministry runs on Sundays. So pretty much start over here with the welcome any visit welcome new visitors because prior to that the kids will be in the sanctuary for worship. That's usually from um what is it 10:30 to 11 around that time. Uh when they return to classes, the class is split up by age. Um, what you're going to do is welcome any new time, any first time visitors, if there's any prayer requests, that's a little box that we pass around with sticky notes. Usually the assistants help with that. Uh, they just pass it around, have the kids write down what they want prayer for. They fold it, put it back and we collect it again. Then we're going to start off with some icebreakers. Um, this week is Bible story trivia. There's only like six questions, uh, and that's a separate sheet. That's this one over here. And that's how we always start every class with a uh, with an icebreaker. Uh, so that's that. <clears throat> and then we have a PowerPoint game. Okay, so now we're going to go to the computer screen. These are the new Chromebooks we're dealing with. So what you want to do is scroll over here. And click the folder. Files. Okay, so now everything is here that you're going to be using. Okay, so the first thing, like we said, is a uh, the PowerPoint game is called Money Matters. It's another little game prior to uh, you know starting up the lesson. Uh, you click there; it's going to pop up as a PDF. Okay, then what you want to do is go over here to present. And then once you go through it, you could hit the down arrow and go through them. You know, just ask questions, get engaged with the kids a little bit. Okay, so then once that's done, you, you go up here towards the middle, right? Exit out. Okay, and then we could just minimize that. Okay, so we're back to the screen where everything is at. The next thing after that is a prayer build exercise. Now, this is something our assistants know how to do. I don't know if you've done it already, but uh, it's it's a prayer builder exercise. We have prayers on the back wall. We have some dice, and we pick um, countries out of a bucket. It's pretty cool. It's something to have them uh, learn how to pray for certain things every week. Okay? On to the next page. Okay, and this week... So this is the, the lesson page, right? Um, who is the devil? That is the lesson for this week. And handout take home sheet. That would be this sheet right here. So prior to class starting, we're going to get a head count of the kids and have them printed out, usually plus one or two. So each kid will get one of these. This is the take home sheet. Okay. Um... So then what you do first, uh, you know, this is the intro before the video. So, you know, this is what you want to share with the kids beforehand. And um, and then after you share that real quick, you play video one. Okay, right here. All right, you just double click. Remember, all this will be on the big screen. You just hit play. You know, you go through it. So once it's over, um, you know, you come back over here and this is the leader message after the video. OK, you go through that. You just, you know, talk about the video. It's kind of an intro into what you're where you're going with it. OK, then you're going to play video two, which is the what you got to know. Uh, the good thing about this right here is if you just go right here to the sides you just click that and it's going to take you into the in the order of the videos. Okay. So once you go through the what you got to know, again, um it's pretty active, interactive. Um you go back to the back to the take home sheet. Boom. So it's kind of, you know, this take home sheet is active throughout the whole lesson. So they could fill in the what you got to know right here. Okay, um, then once that's done, you fill in the sheet, you play video three.
Okay, that's video three right there. Remember, you can you obviously full screen. It'll be in full screen at the time, so it'll pretty much look like that. And the arrows are still there on the side. So we're gonna play video three, and then go into the message afterwards. All right, real quick, this is just explaining what we saw. Engage with the kids, and then we go into. The PowerPoint questions. Okay, what you're going to want to do is get back on the computer, exit this out. Okay, when it's full screen, it exits normally on the corner. Okay, that's going to be this one here. Okay, it's the second um, PowerPoint. I will label it uh, QA. So, same thing, you just double click on that, that pops up. Okay, see what you do here, there's a lot of stuff going on. You just have to scroll all the way down. I like to do this beforehand, just so you don't go through all that. And just leave it on the first question. Okay, and then again, you can hit present. Boom, now it's here. Now you just go through the, uh, the questions again. Okay, there's a few questions here. Again, some of the questions are on the sheet. Uh, so you'll definitely have these main points there. Uh, the Bible story questions. So this is a point, a time where you go through the sheet too. All right. So you go through the questions and the sheet at the same time. It's simultaneous. Okay. And then, uh, then we go to video four. Okay. We go back over here. Let's exit out that. Go back to the documents. And video four. Okay, that's the power verse. You could double click that. What's going on here? Do you? This is also part of, um, this is probably mo most likely one of the last things you'll do. That's where you fill it in right here. So you go through the power verse and the sheet with them at the same time. Okay. And then at that time, we usually uh, get the kids out on a bathroom break. We try to hold them in class until that time, line them up. Uh, the security in the hallway usually monitor the boys and the, and the females goes with the girls. And then we get into object lessons and crafts. The crafts, there's uh, a video um, that you should have seen on the drive itself um, explaining, um, you know, the crafts and all that. That will actually be on the, um, that will already be up on the, on the screen. Um, I didn't put it up yet, but it's definitely on the drive part of the, um, the lessons. Uh, this is something you should have seen as well. So at least you know what what type of um what type of craft is going on. Uh, what I like to do is um I like to play the video uh, when the assistants get there, just so that they have an idea. They can set up the um the materials on one of the tables, however they want to do it. But the craft itself is right here. And the video, instructional video is here. I'm going to actually download it now and add it to. Okay. And, and now they will be added. So right here. So we've got the craft instructional and then the um, the craft uh, Word document, which is a step-by-step. -step. The materials and everything like that, we, we will have there already. Everything all set up. This is usually when we um, assign our student helpers. That's one of the first things we do when we get there. And then we assign them to each class. 
and usually you'll have about two helpers in your room. We like to have a helper per per four kids in there. So we always try to um, keep it like that for the most part. And they will be going through the crafts when they get there. And the instructionals, uh, you know, due to the number of kids, you always want to, you know, have the uh, available help for them when that comes. That's usually at the end prior to, you know, when... Um, you know, service is ending or they're at the altar call. Um, it's kind of usually when we start that is it kind of works out where, you know, the parents start to pick them up when they're done or close to being done. All right. And that is it. So you have everything here. Um, so I did switch up the format a little bit to what you had before, just so it's more of a guide. Um, as you go through it and not just a list of what to do. So everything you have to do is right here. Uh, it's a guide, but always input your creativity, your input, your style, your flow to it. Um, I always leave room for that. Any questions? Hit me up. Thanks, man.